What I'm an expert in is creating computerized systems that can assess things with really great resolution and really great sensitivity. And so we've had some partners in Australia who are working in both rugby league and rugby union who have come to us and they've said, look, we've got a lot of guys who are taking hits. We're concerned about player welfare and we want a better way of understanding how the hits that they're taking are affecting them in the long term, not just in the short term, and how those hits that maybe aren't concussive but are sub-concussive are also influencing their ability to sort of function um, both on the field and off the field. What we're really trying to do with these tests is hack the brain. The first way that we do that is with smooth eye tracking. What's going to happen is this system is going to track my eye movements and so long as I am following the scene in the way that we want the person to follow the scene, which is a smooth pursuit movement, I'll hear music to sort of give me the indication that I'm doing the right thing. This reflex is a gateway into lower brain function and we can start to understand exactly how some of our more reflexive brain functions and our higher brain functions are responding by whether or not you can actually perform this task. We're using the Oculus Rift to look at balance ability. It's an extremely low cost device that has an accelerometer gyroscope built into it. And so what we've done with our software is we've hacked into uh, the Oculus and we're just streaming the data from the accelerometer gyroscope. It's so sensitive that it can tell if the person is swaying backwards and forwards and, and their head is rotating in a way that it shouldn't be rotating. So what we're looking at here is the output of the Oculus Rift. When we go and take a look at post-concussive blow, what we can see is a lot of sort of variance in the data set that we're collecting, indicating that he took this hit and he immediately was very, very unsteady. And the Oculus Rift was capable of detecting that unsteadiness and, and showing us how different he was from baseline. We're trying to collect a compelling objective data set that allows us to do risk stratification for every player. So for every player, we can start to say, okay, this is your risk of developing CTE, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And here are all of the factors that are affecting your risk of developing this, this debilitating and, and frightening condition that is affecting a lot of contact sport players. The scary truth is that every player that steps on the field for an NFL game, uh, they're sustaining 90 hits per game. So this is amounting to, in a season, more than a thousand hits every year. And that's really worrying us because then they're not showing acute signs of a concussion. So they go under the doctor's radar. To optimize player welfare, what we really need to do is start to understand how all of these little hits might be adding up to a chronic long-term brain injury or, or syndrome. We're also hoping that as we collect more and more data, this becomes a tool for allowing us to test new treatments that are emerging in a very rigorous and very quantitative way to actually, you know, because the, the corollary to being able to see if performance is dipping over time is that we can also see if performance is starting to come up over time. And so this is really exciting for therapeutics development as well. In the future, what we're absolutely going for is before every game, after every game, do this five minute thing. It uploads your data to the cloud and we know how you do it. That's the way that we're going to influence the field and that's the way that we're going to be able to make data-driven decisions about returning to play or not returning to play is by understanding each player inside and out.